Hi scientists, it's Lauren with the Atlanta Botanical Garden. Today, it's strawberry time. And you know what that means. It's experiment time. We're going to do a DNA extraction experiment using strawberries. Strawberries are a great candidate for DNA extraction because they are octoploid. No, not octopus. Octoploid means that inside every single strawberry cell, there are eight sets of chromosomes with DNA. Humans and many other plants and animals are diploid, meaning that inside of every one of their cells, there are only two sets of chromosomes with DNA. Scientists at the Atlanta Botanical Garden actually do quite a bit of DNA extraction, except it's not often with strawberries. Instead, scientists and conservationists in our molecular lab work to isolate and extract DNA from our rare and endangered plant species. Gathering and sequencing this DNA from plant tissues and plant seeds can help us identify new plant species, discover plant relatedness, and also may provide information on how to protect the rarest plants in our collection. Scientists at the Atlanta Botanical Garden use some pretty heavy duty tools, equipment, and solutions to increase the yield and integrity of the DNA that they're extracting. Now, I don't have the fancy lab equipment or strong powered solutions at home to do DNA extractions just like the scientists at the garden but you can actually extract DNA from a strawberry with items that you might find around the house. Let me show you. Let's extract strawberry DNA. You will need a butter knife, two resealable plastic sandwich bags, a plastic or glass cup, a clear one works best to see the DNA form, coffee filter, now I don't have a coffee filter, so I used a heavy duty paper towel sheet cut into triangles. If you have a metal strainer, that works as well. Toothpicks. Three to four ripe strawberries. One third cup of water. One tablespoon of dish soap one teaspoon of salt, isopropyl alcohol, 70% or higher. Here's how. Before getting started, place the bottle of isopropyl alcohol into the freezer to chill. Using a butter knife, carefully cut off and remove the green tops of the strawberries. If your strawberries are large, you may want to cut them into smaller sizes to make them easier to mush in the upcoming steps. Place the strawberries into the plastic sandwich bag. Seal shut, removing as much air as possible. Use your hands to gently squish the strawberries inside the bag. Be careful to not poke a hole in the bag while you're squishing. Once the strawberries are really mushy, open the bag, add the dish soap, water, and salt. Close the bag again. The dish soap in this experiment works to break down the cell membrane and nuclear membrane of the strawberry cells, while the salt helps remove any protein bound to the DNA. With the bag sealed and the air removed, gently shake and knead the bag to mix its contents. Cut into the corner of the second sandwich bag and place the open corner into the cup to make a funnel. Make sure that the tip of the funnel hangs well above the bottom surface of the cup. Tape the outside edges to the cup to secure. Line the sandwich bag funnel with a coffee filter. Or, if you are using paper towels, overlap the pieces to line the funnel and cover the bottom hole. Slowly and carefully pour the strawberry mixture into the filter to funnel into the cup. 
The chunky strawberry parts should be caught in the filter while the pink strawberry juice drips to the bottom of the cup. This filtration process can take over five to 10 minutes. I like to cut a hole in the corner of my strawberry mixture bag so that I can control the amount of solution that I'm trying to filter so that it doesn't all come out at once and make my funnel collapse. Lift the plastic bag funnel filter and chunky strawberry when all of the liquid has dripped into the cup. Set aside the cup of strawberry juice and throw away the funnel and strawberry chunks. Remove the isopropyl alcohol from the freezer. Pour a layer of the chilled isopropyl alcohol onto the strawberry juice, being careful not to mix the two liquids. Pour until the alcohol layer is as thick as the juice layer. Look for white strands appearing in the clear alcohol layer. The stringy precipitate is actually strawberry DNA. Use a toothpick to collect the DNA strands by swirling the tool around an alcohol layer. How much DNA were you able to collect? Nice extraction, scientist. Nicely done. Now that you've extracted DNA from strawberries, see if you can extract DNA from other fruits and vegetables, or even from your own saliva. Just be ready to spit a lot. Does strawberry DNA look different than DNA from other organisms? Thanks for joining me. Happy sciencing.